behind that. But as far as top five languages go, that's probably too broad because you could just name so many. I think you should probably archetype it by what do you want to do. So if you want to get into game development, perhaps C Sharp, C++ could be good choices. Mm -hmm. Or uh, JavaScript and doing Canvas games. I could see that also working. But, you know, you gotta, you're got you limited by doing JavaScript, obviously, because you can't do as much because the language is just not fast enough to do as much. So it's like a good thing to remember. Uh, if you're going to be doing backend stuff, you know, if you want a job, if you're looking for a job, maybe C Sharp slash Java or JavaScript or Go would be great choices. If you're looking to do embedded, you probably want to do C, mm -hmm. C++. Like that would probably be a good choice. And so you kind of have to, I think you have to first determine what do you really want to get out. If you're just curious about programming, which I talk to a lot of people who are, uh, yeah, you can consider jobs, but basically their question is, okay, what's the first language I should learn? And maybe what are the several languages I should explore? Can I say something that's going to make a lot of people angry? Yeah, sure. I think the first language people should learn if they have no idea about anything is JavaScript. Yeah. I, Why would that make people angry? Oh, because people just, I'm, first off, I'm not supposed to say anything nice about JavaScript. Yeah, usually but, that's the meme that you hate JavaScript. Right? Yeah. No, JavaScript's a beautiful language and it has a lot of things that are very great for it. And one of them is that you can express anything with very little effort. And so, someone that's new, I think it's really great to be able to draw a box and move a box. Mm -hmm. Like, that's great. You get to see it visually. I think that's one thing that's really great about JavaScript is that you can do that. Then you can go, okay, I want to learn about the back end. I want to make a request now. You can write a quick back end in it. Now you're starting to get familiar with programming a little bit. I can save this to a database. I can bring it down. I can put it on a screen and I can animate it all around. And I can even put it on a canvas and render it in 2D or 3D. Mm -hmm. So it's like there's so much variety of what you can do with JavaScript. It's a great way to get introduced into programming.